and welcome back. Uh, we got a projector here for you guys today and pretty stoked. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. Make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up if you guys appreciate the video and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have tested any of these projectors out. So here it is. This is the video projector LED source. This is the Elaphis mini Wi-Fi projector. Um, yeah, pretty curious about this stuff. When it comes to these projectors, I always like to see what do they have? What is the latest and greatest? Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now, when it comes to packaging, it's got a pretty nice pack. It's funny, I've actually seen some of these when it comes to uh, shipping. And it looks like they just put the entire projector <laughs> in this thing, which is fine. It's a good way of protecting the projector itself. Now, you do get a couple goodies here, so we're going to go through that also. Now, the first thing is you get some cleaning stuff. And it's always good to get uh, uh, just cleaning things for your device. You always want to have something so that way... You know, you can clean it. You don't want to use your fingers. And it tells you here some steps of how to clean the lens and some just basic TLC. In this little box, you will get, looks like, uh, power. Um, you do get the little screw that goes underneath the projector, which I'm kind of surprised it's not already attached. There is an HDMI cable that they give you, so that's actually pretty neat. They give you some some of the old school style the for the audio and video cables. And then the remote, which batteries are not included, you get, uh, it's it's two, two AAA batteries that you're gonna need with this, so I might as well just use it. So I've played with this remote before with plenty of other projectors. This is kind of like your generic remote that a lot of these projector companies kind of get, just very basic, very simple. Um, I like it when they take it a step above and they get you something a little bit nicer than this. Um, but it should work pretty good. Um, again, I've tested this before. It's going to be a super basic. Everything just feels very budgeted. So, okay. Let's look at the projector. And again, very excited about this. They do have a little booklet here. This is the model number W13. Quick start guide on this and a user manual. So anything that you need to know any kind of troubleshooting issues, that's where you're going to find it. Um, remember that little screw. You're going to want to come right underneath it like this and just screw it on in. This gives you a little bit of an angle. Now, right behind me, I do have a table here. Lots of light in this room to test out. So pretty excited to see how this is going to work. And before we plug it in, of course, I got to go through some of the buttons here. So up here at the top, um, you do have your, looks like your power, okay, uh, is that a reverse button, back, forward, and S for settings, I guess. Um, here's your focus, your keystone. Keystone is the leveler. You also have your headphones here av if you're close if you're sitting pretty close to the thing you might have a long headphones i don't know um usb t usb uh hdmi vga so pretty nice there's your power there's your little speaker here in the back and i think that's gonna do it so let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see how this looks i'm gonna leave all the lights on too so that way we could get a good gist of it and there you go it looks you gotta admit, that looks pretty clean. Even for, like, you see the window right there. I got my lights on right here. For it being bright, it's actually pretty nice. So you got your VGA, AV setup. Uh, we're gonna have to go through the setup. So picture mode, color temperature. Uh, you got medium, so you could do just different options here. And let me zoom in just a little bit. That way you guys can see it just a tad bit better. And yeah, so from the setup, we'll come back up to the setup again. Um... So just some of the options here, you got your aspect ratio, um, you got your projection mode. So this is actually really important here. Um, based on your projection mode, you just click on it and it's gonna go, if you have it upside down, if you have it behind, um, if you have it upside right, like all the different angles, just click on it and it just rotates. Um, now, of course you got a music mode. So if you got surround sound and stuff like that, you got a timer. Um, you got some languages, some software updates, stuff like that, factory reset, all the versions there, uh, picture mode back here. Then, of course, you could either zoom in, zoom out, pretty good stuff. 
um, if you come down here, you do have like some, some, where is it on the far left? Um, you got help screen VGA, AV and all that stuff. Um, when you do come to the right, it shoots you back up to the top here. Um, if you're like trying to go to the left from photo, it's going to go up to, to music and movies. So it's kind of like follows that circle. Now, of course, if you click on music or movies or whatever it is, um, whatever it is that you're going to have connected, this is what it's going to be. So, okay. So I just connected a USB. Uh, so that way we could test the, the video quality and let's go here to movie. We're going to go to USB and it was a video of just how to, uh, set up a keyboard. So it says video is unusable files, unusable. And this is just a standard MP4 uh, video. So for whatever reason, the format is not working on this thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in a fire stick. So here we go. I got the fire stick all plugged in. I'm going to make sure the fire stick is on with this remote. And then this remote does have, uh, well, it has those settings. So the only way to get to the HDMI is I have to come here to the side and click the HDMI port. I just got to flip it over. So it's kind of, it's a little bit annoying at that part, but other than that, it's not bad. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go to the YouTube. We're going to go to my travel channel. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a channel called Rojas travels. Um, some pretty good videos here on this guy. So let's go ahead and test this guy out and see how it looks. There we go. So audio, I wonder if I can control the so I can't do it with that one. So I'm going to crank it all the way up and see how it sounds like. This is a statue of Willie Mays, <laughs> which is crazy. And then the other thing, I'll come. So it's not bad. The mute volume works pretty good. For sure, you'll need a, an external source. Um, but other than that, it sounds actually pretty good and pretty nice. Um, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. Uh, uh, this thing actually works pretty good. And if you wanted to see how it looks like at nighttime, check this out real quick. This actually looks pretty nice. Um, so I'm just going to come here to one of these videos back on the fire stick thing and look how good this looks. So of course I got to fix the screen a little bit and stuff like that, but you can see how clean and clear this is. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's very, very good for, for a night projector too. And I got to say, like, like for some of these devices, it's it's great. So, yeah, um, and you can see it's it's daytime. It, 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 it's daytime. It's bright out here and it still works pretty solid. So, yeah, hope you guys appreciated today's episode. I try to get you guys some of the latest ingredients. Stay tuned because I'm going to have some more tips and tricks for this device. Um, yeah, as always, you guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.